Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December 22nd of 2022. Well, it is titled NGC 1365 Majestic Island Universe. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a barred spiral galaxy. Now, spiral galaxies are divided into two classifications, primary, and that is what we call normal spirals and the barred spirals, which seem to have a bar going through the center of the galaxy. And we can see in the image how the spiral arms seem to start kind of at the end of a bar going from upper left to lower right. And that is the bar going through the center. Now we call them normal and barred spirals and in reality we find that barred spirals are actually much more common. Although the actual details as to why some spiral galaxies form a bar and others do not is still a good question that research is being conducted on try to find out why some galaxies do form bars like this. Now this is a rather large spiral galaxy almost twice the size of our own Milky Way, which also happens to be a barred spiral galaxy. And we see the distinct signs of spiral galaxies with of course the spiral arms but primarily the star forming regions in those spiral arms that highlight the star formation ongoing within a spiral galaxy. And that is the blue star clusters so the bluish tinge to the spiral arms caused by many many blue stars that make up those spiral arms that have formed relatively recently as well as the pink hydrogen regions also energized by those same hot stars that excite the hydrogen gas and cause it to glow. And this is similar to our own Orion Nebula within our galaxy, which is a much smaller version of one of those, but happens to be one of the closer uh, star forming regions that we see. Now at the center of this and almost every galaxy we know is a supermassive black hole. Actually, how big they are can depend and can vary from galaxy to galaxy from maybe only a million times the mass of our sun to sometimes up to a billion or more times the mass of our sun. So these are what we call supermassive black holes, a lot of material that has formed over the uh, life of the galaxy as material has been collected there. And that differs from black holes that form from stars that perhaps go supernova, which might leave behind a black hole of five or 10 or even 20 times the mass of our sun. So these are relatively uh, so those are relatively small black holes compared to the supermassive black holes that exist at the centers of galaxies. And these give us what we call active galaxies as material spirals into the black hole, it can give off a lot of energy making the galaxy much more active and energetic than it otherwise would be. So the more material being funneled into that black hole, the more active the galaxy is. So that was our picture of the day for December 22nd of 2022. It was titled NGC 1365 Majestic Island Universe. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Northern Saturn. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.